It's been two years and four months since a massive earthquake and subsequent tsunami brought Japan's nuclear infrastructure to its knees. The world watched as the Japanese government tried to contain the radioactive materials from spilling out by the gallons into the Pacific Ocean. We watched as elderly Japanese people volunteered to wade into that toxic environment, sacrificing their own lives in an attempt to stop the leak and to save the country. But today, we are getting news that the leaks continue. The latest report is a storage tank breach spilling 300 tons of radioactive water into a puddle nearby. The leak is separate from the one that we reported about last week, if you remember that one. A puddle of contaminated water is emitting about 100 milliservients an hour of uh, radiation. So to translate that into layman's terms, according to Reuters, the water is so toxic that within one hour, a person who is standing about a foot away, who's cleaning it, will receive a dose of radiation five times the average annual global limit for nuclear workers. After 10 hours, a person near it will show signs of radiation poisoning. So it's very serious, obviously. But the Japanese government doesn't seem to be too concerned. They call this incident a level one out of seven on the international scale of radiological releases, meaning that it's not very serious. Japanese officials say that they are working to correct the problem. They insist that none of the contaminated water has reached the Pacific Ocean. But this latest leak just reinforces the long-standing concerns over safety of nuclear energy.